The line passes through the points 2 minus 5 and minus 7, 4. And it meets the axis at point P. Work out the coordinates of P. The first thing you need to do is to work out the, uh, the gradient of the line, so the change in y over the change in x. So we do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is 4 minus minus 5 over minus 2 minus 7. So 4 minus minus 5 is 9, and minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9. So we'd have minus 9 over 9, which gives us a gradient of minus 1. We need to put that into the equation of the line, so that will be y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So we'll put in the right numbers, we're going to use 2 minus 5. So then y minus minus 5 equals the gradient minus 1 bracket x minus 2. This will give us y plus 5 equals minus x plus 2, which if I rearrange this, that gives me y equals minus x minus 3. So now take the equation of that line. The line crosses the x-axis when y is 0. So let's put y equal to 0. So 0 equals minus x minus 3. But if we move the x across, that gives us x equals minus 3. So the coordinates of p are minus 3, 0. And I can just show you that. So I've got minus 7, 4, and 2 minus 5. You can see it's got a gradient of minus 1, and it does pass the x-axis. Back to minus three.